Hello everyone. Welcome to our inspirational Mondays. Our theme today is living by faith. I remember this particular incident. It happened about 10 years ago. I was at uh, Pomona Valley Hospital to visit one of my friends. While I was coming out of the room, a lady called me from the room just opposite of that room. She said, "Are you a priest?" I said, "I am." Then she asked me, "Can you please give me a blessing?" I said, "Surely." She was laying on the bed. While I was standing there, she gently removed the blanket from her right foot and leg. I was shocked. Her whole leg was infected. It was like a wound, bleeding. Then she told me, "Father, I am suffering from diabetes." They decided to amputate my leg. And tomorrow morning I'm going to have that surgery. I didn't know what to tell her. I was not prepared to visit this particular person. I was struggling. Actually I said a prayer in my heart, Lord give me the appropriate word so that I can comfort her. She understood my struggle. Then she said, "Father, don't worry. I am fine." Then she told me, "God is good. God is taking only one of my legs. I have the other one." Then she asked me this question. "Father, do you know what is Second Corinthians chapter five, verse seven?" I was a little embarrassed. I didn't know. and she told me second corinthian chapter 5 verse 7 is this we walk by faith not by sight i was so inspired this woman she was living by faith because of her faith she was able to handle this difficult moment situation of her life peacefully even i would say joyfully whenever i have issues problems and difficulties i remember this incident and i remember what she said we walk by faith not by sight alone How does faith help us? When we have faith, we look up to God. When we have faith, we look up to Jesus. When we look up to God, when we look up to Jesus, two things takes place right away. We get enlightenment. Then we feel empowered. When I say we get enlightenment it means we are able to see things the way God sees we are able to see things the way Jesus sees then everything change everything change secondly when we start perceiving things the way God sees we feel like we are getting an extra energy that energy is the grace that grace that comes from god that gives us hope for the future on the other hand people who do not have faith they focus on their problem they focus on themselves when we focus on our problem what happens the problems become bigger and bigger the result is fear often time i wonder if i don't have faith 
what would I do? So it is important that uh, we need to do everything possible to deepen our faith. The good news is this, we all have faith. The seed of faith is planted in our hearts by God. Maybe it is like a mustard seed. It's tiny, very little. The mustard seed, even though it is small, it has the potential to grow big. Similarly, even though I may have faith in a tiny form, but it has the potential to grow and completely influence and take over my life. How do I grow in my faith? There are different ways, but this is what I do when I feel like I have a faith struggle. When I feel like my faith is lacking, this is what I do. I read the story of the life of a saint. When we read the stories of saints, naturally their life, their story, their history inspire us. So my dear friends, during this week, let us look into our heart and see how is our faith? What can I do to grow in our faith? Always remember, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. We walk by faith, not by sight alone. God bless you.